Hey guys, Claire here and welcome to the Kitschy Cabin. I am so excited to be sharing with you some of the cabin today. Today we're gonna to be talking about kind of my home base, the kitchen and dining room. And I'm so excited to share this with you. I worked really hard to put all of this together and I love all of the elements that really went into the space. So the first thing I started with were my appliances. For me, I really needed things that were family friendly, really easy to use and super functional. And I was so blown away by what Samsung had on offer. So I partnered with Samsung to put together the kitchen and it's pretty crazy. So I have, obviously you need a microwave for popcorn. So I have that going on. This oven, it's pretty amazing. So the range on top has just insane power. It's a dual oven. And so if you click on it here, you'll see oven number one. If I just open it normally, it's like a magic trick. There's actually two ovens here. It's the flex duo kind of aspect to the oven. There's actually a sheet here in between that completely protects so you don't share smells, you don't share heat or anything like that. So it really acts as two ovens. If I just wanna use one large oven, I can pull that thing out and then just use it as one. And then we have the dishwasher. You guys know I love my vintage things. So I have to do a lot of hand washing. Typically, the dishwasher strips all of the paint, all of those beautiful little details from anything that's vintage or handmade. However, in this dishwasher, there is a water wall. And that's what's really exciting. It's this new technology where instead of having the fan on the bottom, the blade that goes around like this, it's literally just a wall of water that goes all the way across. So it really evenly and gently cleans everything, but it's super thorough as well. There's also a setting that you can do for delicate. So whenever I put like vintage teacups in here or something like that, you hit the delicate setting and it just means that the water wall is gonna be extra careful in that area. So anyway, I think that's super cool. This is the Beale faucet from American Standard and I love that it just has a really sleek kind of minimalist shape. It's gooseneck. It has this really amazing little dial. You just turn it to whatever measurement you want, walk away and that's what happens. So it's really nifty and really helpful for a home cook like me. I am obsessed with rejuvenation. Everyone knows this because I use them in like all of my kitchens, all of like anywhere I've ever lived. I kind of always go crazy at rejuvenation. And it's because I love their hardware so much. And so these are all rejuvenation shelves. Um, this is their rough hewn salvaged fur. And then it's their brass strap shelving hardware. And I just love the look of it. It's once again, a little rustic, but has like this nice kind of modern look to it. That's kind of what I was trying to do for the cabin. I really wanted it to feel cabiny, but at the same time, feel kind of relevant to how I live and how my family is. And so filling the cabinets, I have things that are very vintage. These are my dad's beer steins. I have no idea where they came from or how he accumulated them, but they've always just been knocking around like random cabinets. I just thought this would be the perfect place to have them. All of these beautiful pieces that have a little bit of gold are from Lux Eros. I'm obsessed with the punk stud plates and bowls. They're just so gorgeous. I then have a few kind of big touches. Like I love West Elm for actually a lot of tabletop. I know they're mostly known for furniture, but they have really great tabletop too. So this is um, West Elm pieces, just little serving trays. When you're at a cabin, you're usually serving sort of a larger party. It's very communal, it's very casual. So having a lot of serving dishes is very important. I love the little market so much. They have such great sort of textures and really interesting details. They're really cool for styling into a space. And so this is little market napkins. So it's like a simple cream napkin, but it has a little bit of detail. So it's really beautiful. Well, I'm sure you guys notice this. <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite moments in the entire kitchen, this insane backsplash from Fire Clay Tile. I had so much fun partnering with Fire Clay Tile. They did all the tile in the entire house, so as you watch the tours, you're gonna see a lot of it all over. But I love this because I just went, went and wanted to have fun with color. I felt like when I was on Pinterest looking at a lot of references for cabins, it was very like Hygge, you know? <laughs> so it was that kind of like white, very Danish, very kind of cold aesthetic. I mean, lots of fur and stuff like that, but at the same time, there's just no color, not a lot of vibrancy. And I kind of was inspired by like an après ski fondue party in the 60s. So I really wanted it to have a lot of pop and honestly be a lot of fun. So I love 
love these, this color palette so much. It's from their agrarian line, and what's so cool is you can customize the color palette. So I picked these colors. It's kind of a marigold, a sorbet, and then this really pretty spruce that has a little bit of a glaze to it. So there's a little bit of a contrast between the matte and the glaze, and I just love it. I thought it was so much fun. We then did white tile just to kind of, you know, keep it a little more simple, not, not really make it so busy, and really let this be kind of like a big statement moment. So these are the Shaw stools from Rejuvenation in Walnut, and I love the little woven detail on top of it. It's so pretty, and it really softens kind of the modern lines. And I kind of went off of, honestly, the wood tones in here. And so there's Walnut in that. This is a Walnut countertop from Lumber Liquidators. And then all the flooring is called Tobacco Road. It's an acacia flooring. And it's funny, in the mountains, because of the weather, you actually are better off doing engineered flooring rather than regular hard wood. And then for the cabinet fronts, this is all from Semi Handmade. So if you're not familiar, it's the best idea. Basically, you get an Ikea kitchen, so super inexpensive, really affordable, but then you can get custom looking cabinets put on top of it. And that's what Semi Handmade does. So I love this. This is in the antique white. It's their slab format. So it's really clean, really pretty. And then I added this hardware from Rejuvenation. It's their Elroy hardware. And once again, it's a little bit of black. It has some of the brass. It just kind of ties everything together in a really pretty way. So I love how it kind of goes with the whole look of everything. The fridge is so cool. What I have here is sort of my home screen and it has tons of apps. So I can click here and all of these awesome apps are available to me. So for instance, Instacart, if I want to get everything delivered, I can go to Grubhub if I want to get pizza. When I'm shopping, I constantly wonder, oh, do I need to get butter? I don't remember. So if you're attached to the app, you can check view inside and it'll show you inside the fridge, which is very crowded at the moment, but it'll tell you what you have in there, which is pretty cool. All of these are mobile and flippable. You can adjust the humidity and everything. It's honestly just like extremely functional. I'm really into it. It's super convenient and really easy to navigate. You just kind of have to play with it for like five minutes and all of a sudden it like comes together really easily. All right, well, let's look at the dining room. So this is the dining room. I love all the different colors and textures happening in here. It's really warm and very friendly. And the kind of whole thing grounding it is the rug. This rug is from Rejuvenation. This is the sumac rug in Marigold. I love it. It has such a great texture and color to it. And then on top of it, this is all West Elm. This is the Hayden table with the Hayden bench. And then there are these really pretty sort of wire chairs that have a nice texture to them. Really simple. I kind of like the mix of doing a bench on one side and then four chairs around. It makes it a little more flexible. So if you had a bunch of kids and they could just crowd onto the bench, there you go. Or if you wanted to have more as a dinner party, you could do that too. I love these kind of oversized ceramic vases. All of these dried plants are from my friend Yasmin, who's an amazing florist, and she hand dried these herself. The mirror in the back is from Rejuvenation. I love that it reflects back all the beautiful light in the living room. So all the lighting in the cabin is from Littman Lights. So that is the family of lights. They have Hudson Valley lighting, Mitzi lighting, Troy lighting, and Corbett. I used a lot of Mitzi. This is the Brigitte chandelier, and I loved it because it's not overbearing, it's not super formal, and it kind of goes with everything else that's happening in the space. Drapes add such a nice pop of drama, and so all the drapes in the house are from the Shade Store. So this is their linen drapes in Accru, and I just think it's such a beautiful touch. It's a little warmer than the color of the walls, so it kind of ties a lot of the color going on in the cabin together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please look out for the rest of the cabin tour videos. Also make sure to follow at Kitschy Cabin on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting all things Kitschy Cabin related there. So if you wanna learn a little bit more about the space itself or just what it looks like for me to hang out in the mountains, that's where you should go. Also make sure to check out the kitschykitchen.com for the blog post about the different spaces. It has all the backlinks, a lot more information. So if you're really interested in specific pieces, that's where you wanna go. Well, thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.